He was the only one that I know that actually was able to keep the same momentum. No shade, because I got to keep it a stack. And I will say this as well. Before Tay got fired, he was the one yes, on that side. That we keep, we, listen, we give momentum. the girls flowers when they deserve it. These are all these are all these are all facts. And I know this because I remember they mm -hmm. had that type of yep. momentum. And what it is and let me tell you, Robert, they, and I think they had that type of momentum. What I think, Robert, you will be a good representation to let us know. What do you think went bad? Because I would say the only person that I felt like that was still keeping the girls entertained, like with like if they was an actual broadcaster, was Keith. Because when Keith lost his page, he was still having fun. He was still trolling the girls. Keith did not change after he lost his page, in my opinion. Yeah. I think yeah. Keith stayed the same. I agree. I think I Keith agree. stayed, he stayed the, the same. The momentum, the momentum of the momentum of content entertainment mm -hmm. stayed the same. And the in the in the, in the cult like that's why the cult stayed the same to be yep. honest with y'all um so i think what happened with a lot of girls is you said a key point run it up y'all we need 1k the girls page is getting clipped yeah because what happens is as this app evolves and grows so do, do you security measures yeah and so do the things that are allowed you can't be at a job consistently doing the same thing and think that next year when they say, okay, we need to change to get higher numbers, you can go back to doing what you're doing. You have to keep up with the roles wow. and the punches. A lot of girls weren't doing that because a lot of girls were building their platform and foundation stone on when things started to go dark and started to do nasty stuff. And then when they got clipped, a lot of girls, that was their content. Their content was being a certain type of way. And sometimes that was malicious. So the girls don't know how to just have longevity. A lot of these people were liked for one specific thing. Not variety of things. Well, and that's why they don't well, have longevity. Because well, when that one specific thing was taken yeah. or was not able to be to the full extent, then those girls were not able to get fully that's what right, they needed to right. get. Because let me tell you something. Let's just call a thing a thing. And it's so good that we're talking about this. Y'all, we have a good conversation. Can we get to this box? Now, this might gag you. And I never really said this to you, but I just thought about something. Can we get a 1K, y'all? We need a 1K. I truly need a 1K. believe that when that shit went down with you and Pasta about the agency shit and strike me down if I'm wrong, heavens. I think the one thing that I figured out that was real, that really, because you and Keith always have had this love and hate thing, but there was something different this time. He had a fat, nasty bitch in his ear. I really believe Tommy K tried to talk Keith into thinking that you was trying to dupe her. I really, I really, 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 really. Because you know what? We would have, we would have been okay. Yeah. After this argument yep. with whatever and yep. carried the fuck on. Because yep. that's how we got on. But that nigga, for the first time in my life, I believe that nigga allowed other people to get into his motherfucking yep. head. Yeah. And I and I think and I think and I think it happened because his pride yep. of always coming out as yep. the the big dog is always getting his no, teeth. That no. man was you. No, that man was used to getting his fucking way. way. Yeah, that man is yeah. used to. Yeah. That man is used to reading the bitch for film. Yeah, let me tell you one thing. Let me let me screw up. Let me screw up when I say. Go ahead, screw up. Tell you one thing about Mr. Jones. Miss Mamas could read everybody up on the block and up and down, and he probably could have read me if he wanted to. But if he knows that I'm not the like, I would have. If we really got into a read, Keith would never show up when I was tearing his ass up like that. And the thing about it was pride mixed with emotion mixed with public um, humiliation. Public um, humiliation is what really tore him down and made him because I would have been fine and kept it moving after all of that. But you had all these people in your ear yep, and you let yep, that be a factor. Yep, yep. And it was a factor because I'm telling you, whenever and for Robert the first had first time ever, that man yep. turned into what a lot of these people yep. on Beagle turn into, which is somebody who took the bone when it was carried yep. and bit yep. into because it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, the reason why I said Tommy played a role because there was because like I said, and if Keith and Robert wasn't at the space that they was. Robert probably would have been the only one that Keith would have felt comfortable or either somebody like uh, um, a scalp or somebody 
if Keith, if, if, I'm, I'm telling y'all, the church, when Robert and Keith fell out during Robert's birthday, there was church women like, y'all don't need to argue, y'all don't need to fight. And what people don't understand is Robert and Keith had that kind of relationship where they could read each other and then Keith will be right in the room the next day, coming up into the box when the women are accusing him of being the baby daddy and this, that, and the third. You could tell there was a different respect there. Because because Tommy won't come up in none of our rooms and get up in the box when we lay on her on the cross. She'll yeah, just sit there and talk yeah. shit. But I believe that Tommy is the reason why that she probably was having talks with Keith and was like, well, you know, I did business with Robert on the back end and he ain't this and he ain't that. And Keith probably was like, you know what? You might be right. I really, truly believe that. Because Keith, because if that was the case, Keith would have never even reached out to Robert all those times to get in touch with Beagle to get the page unbanned. So, yep, I, I think what Robert, Robert ate that, he, he took the bone. He took the bone. And now she run, divide and conquer. Work, divide and conquer. And, 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 now, and, and now look who's in charge. It ain't him. And listen to this, and listen to this. Y'all also got to think about something, too. A lot of these people get in good positions and they get lazy. Her fat ass ain't even doing the content that she was doing when she first separated from Trina. Now she's doing audios baby, she's with not even at, baby. She's not even at baby. She's not even at six hundred k, baby. Right. She's not doing the content that she was doing. She, what was we doing? Ten minutes. What was we doing? What kind of PKs was it? Ten minutes. Send it. She's not doing the content. And see, this is what Robert can tell y'all. And Robert, I'm a, I'm gonna let you say this. What do you think when you get up to a certain level with Bigo? What do you feel like is a key factor in keeping the people around. What I will say is, before you say it, you got to keep doing the content you're known for. You have to keep doing the content you're known for or you got to give people more variety. Because that's sitting in front of a camera talking shit about people, that shit doesn't hold, that doesn't represent longevity. And that's what I liked about Keith because Keith would do a read and then he'll be doing raffles. Then he'll have the Remy plant, the Remy on the rocks. He had variety. He, he had, had variety. variety. He had variety. So what would you think? A lot of people, a lot. Oh, what do I think? What? What do you think is the key, some of the key things? Because I think the girls have got lazy. I think the girls have hit numbers and they've gotten lazy. The girls have gotten very lazy. You have to have variety. Like you said, uh, a lot of the people, a lot of the people, y'all need 1K. Wait we a minute, hold up. Can y'all get him off of zero? Can y'all get him off of zero? And can y'all close this box on mines, please? Yes, please run it up, y'all. We got a uh, double entry for the raffles. But yes, what do you think? Thank you, Diva Tees. We need, uh, hey, Diva Tees, uh, we need 1,403, y'all. A lot of these kids don't have creativity. Talk about it, Jay Vegas. And the thing about it is, y'all, we need 1K you, and 300 queen. beans, y'all. We need 200. Thank you, 20, thank you Kayla. Hey, baby. You get an entry. Thank you. Um, thank you, boom. Um, run it up, y'all. No, they don't have variety, girl, and longevity. You can't sit. And mind you, there's a, there's a craft to this. And I'm going to speak about this. And, 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 and let me drop some jewels. There's a craft. You can still get ran up and be entertaining as fuck without having to do any of the stuff that I do. Because I have sat in my bed and people have been like, bitch, you was chewing it. You was, Thank you, Gigi. You was chewing it. You was eating it. You can be people's peace because if you are a good broadcaster, just know that when you come on, you have a lot of people at work. You have a lot of people with this and that, blah, 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 whatever. They listen to you in the back end. But baby, I sit here sometimes without anything on. Period, Gigi. Thank you. I sit here without anything on. We're almost there, y'all. Let's close it out. We need 3K. I have variety in what I'm doing because I'm not going to sit here and just read a bitch all day because that gets boring. I'm also going to interact with you. I'm also going to tell you a story. I'm going to drop some tea. I'm going to do a multitude of things in one. People get bored with you sitting there doing the same thing. Yes. So there is a technique and a tactic in having variety. My sister up here, she will read the dog shit out of somebody. She'll take you to the gym. She'll talk about the raffle. She'll That's clear right. somebody. She'll put on a gilbert. Sometimes she'll dance for you. She'll take a shot with you. You got to be able to work your set in whatever manner. These girls sit up here for two hours on panel smoking, doing the same thing. being Like, the girls have lost it and they've gotten lazy. And then the thing about it is not only have they gotten lazy, but they don't even entertain. Mm. And then they request money and Ooh. kick you girls out when y'all don't provide yeah. for their lackluster services. Go ahead. I agree, I agree with you. I, I agree with you. And I was just saying this. You girls, love, I think, I, I don't say people don't have content. I just say people don't have content that will keep me content. I do. Well, you could say that, but I just wouldn't. I, I, I won't say it out loud because I don't need to. But my whole thing is, 
The one thing that I tell people when you come in my room, girl, you're going to start from in the room. We're going to be at the gym. We're going to be looking at niggas on the street. We're going to be at the grocery. We're going to be at the club. I, you have to figure out what type of broadcaster you are. I feel like for me, I'm a lifestyle broadcaster. When we go on trips, I take y'all to the airport. I like broadcasting about my life and what I have going on. And I yes, I move around because the thing about it is, the type of broadcaster I like to be is, I like to be a broadcaster that is known for giving back and is known for mo motivating. And I, I want to be a, a blueprint for a lot of broadcasters because a lot of these broadcasters are one-trick ponies. You can't read me when you literally sit in front of a white wall all day and just talk about everybody else. One thing that y'all rarely see me and Robert, now Robert does it when he has to do his story time or he's going over the tea. But I can't stand a broadcaster that love having the phone flipped at another broadcaster talking about what another broadcaster doing for about three days and four nights. It, it's like, girl, girl, like, girl. People have, and people have, people have, I know me, I don't watch that many people. That's just me. That's just me. But I know I have a you short attention. I, I have a short attention span. So if you are watching someone else, and we're watching you watch someone else who is yes. watching or talking about someone Thank else, you, I don't. I'm here to watch you. Like, and if you're gonna do something like that, do it short, swift, like me. I will show. Madame Lowe reading somebody a little bit. And then also I will give commentary on top of that because people are here to watch right. me. And that, yes, all yes. I get bored with sitting there looking at you, Trina B and, and the crackhead and these people and they for hours, days and nights. And the thing oh, about oh, oh, and oh, the oh, thing oh. about Run it up, y'all. Run it up, huh? And the thing, and and the thing said, about blah, it is... Blah, blah, blah. Like... Yes, and the thing... Y'all... Wait, who are you talking to, Ascend? No, they're saying oh, you're saying 100%. Yeah, I get yeah. what you're saying. I was, just, I was reading it wrong. And what I'm also saying too, Robert, if you are going to do that, you need to be really, you need to be a caricature. Like, the reason why I never got into Charlie when he used to do his tea, because he it was like watching a slow bitch go over the tea. I want somebody to be like, this is hot off the press, bitch. Like, this, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, if I'm watching a slow bitch, let it be a fun, like, Pumpkin, she can't read for, for Phil. Trina B can't read. So that's funny because they're stuttering and they're struggling and, and, and they're getting read in the comment and, you know, that that's funny. Y'all sitting in front watching someone for hours and then... Because, sister, I want to say this. Honestly, sometimes the comments in the people in the live carry the live more than the broadcast. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's not how You're it's right. supposed to be. I'm there for you. Like, You're right. People do that in mine, and people do that in yours, but it's a mixture. When I have my call it's in, when I have all of that, then it's like, oh, baby, everybody's hitting. But, baby, if you're sitting there looking at an iPad or in front of a TV, and we just watching something... And everybody in the co the people in the comments be conversing more. Baby, we could just go to YouTube and do that and see it our damn self. We here for you. We don't want to yeah. sit there all day and and see you in front of a a device doing all that or looking down at a screen, uh, being a third party. That's boring. I could just leave your live and go to the person's live. Oh, girl, I could just leave your live and go watch it on YouTube. Like when, so stuff, for when me, stuff is happening live, that's one thing. That's fab. If it's happening yeah. live, you see it. Blah blah blah. But bitch, when it's giving like, um, when it's giving like, it's not live, and we're doing a recap. No, and here's a little jewel for y'all too. For who y'all do do recaps? We need two hundred, two hundred beans, y'all. I need three k, y'all. Um. Ooh, who's Cam? Hey, Cam, and Live Nation. Who that? You see Cam Stone? Oh, that's Cam with the body. That's Cam with the body. Cam, can you punch me in the face? Yeah. Wow, he's straight, isn't he? It's all right. No, he's. I, I don't think Cam. I love watching your recaps. You actually give the tea. Well, yeah, but also not only do I give the tea, I give spark notes. You're not supposed to have a recap. That's 30. Some of y'all really sit up there for 30 minutes and watch somebody watching somebody else or in front of the and press that. play and pause and all that, girl. You are supposed to give spark notes, give your keep the attention, shorten it, give the nitty gritty meat and potatoes, give your opinion, and then give the juicy, the, the shit. We don't want to see you talking about somebody or reading somebody, or whatever. And when somebody's doing all that, I give the, the spark and notes. Like, like, go ahead, y'all. Right. We can't and another thing, up. too, 
And another thing that's too, okay. Robert, that's you okay. also okay. got you also you also Robert, you also gotta know your lane. And you gotta also know how to occupy your lane and to take over your lane. There are girls on here that honestly cannot properly formulate cannot properly formulate certain type of dialogue. You're not meant to be an interviewer, sweetie. I, I, I really don't mean no disrespect. There's no reason why Trina V is interviewing anyone. There are certain girls that don't need to be interviewing anyone. Like, for example, when Tay was over there and was supposed to let Jay do the interview, we all was in there watching, and it was the most horrible-ass interview ever. It's like... One thing that I like about when you do interviews, you get to the point, you, you give us a build up and then we get to the overflow. And that's what I like when you do interviews, because there are girls that will be like, well, Shaquan, we're not talking about Shaquan. We are here for you to talk about Raekwon. We need you to get to the point because what happens is you end up losing people like, bitch, I'm not going to lie. And I'm just going to say it. And somebody send me a gift. You best the fuck never not have remotely do anything that is in importance of us, bitch. I just, we just want to let you know now, bitch. We are four months near to the end. We are we are almost close to the to the people want to know awards, y'all. And we just want you to motherfucking know, bitch. If you have remotely get up here again, we gonna get your ass. I have never. I every fucking thing that we talked about remotely has something to say. Ari, let me tell you about Ari. That's a bitch that need to do hormone therapy. And she stole my cousin's chocolate. And we was just like, okay, remotely. I had to leave. I had to leave, bitch. I had to leave. I had to leave remotely. Remotely was bad. We need, y'all, we need 150 beans, y'all. Yeah, I didn't know that about remotely. I thought it would have been, and a part of me was, mm. shut those, and, and I'm not gonna lie to you, sister. I was living because that level of trolling, when I realized how bad remotely was at what we were doing, the misery that was going on in the comments had me in tears. And it had me in Yo, tears because remote, I, genuinely, I genuinely think remotely was either on a drug and alcohol and did not care of how horrible it was. Y'all was down in the comments looking like oh. lost souls screaming for help. Let me tell you, I went, I went, I went, I left your live and put my video game on and the people was like, Stone, please. I said, girl, there's nothing I could do. They said, Stone, please tell him to get her down. I said, y'all, I can't. He He's too busy, like, conducting the show. Like, he's not going to notice. And I just felt bad for them. They said, Stone, we can't do it. They said, we can't do it, girl. It's bad. And I said, girl, I can't do it. She just... Because I already know how long the people want to know awards are. So what her was, it was just like when they say when Patty sing the national anthem. You know when Patty sing the national anthem, girl, you can go get you a couple of shots, a beer, a hot dog, bitch. You can go home and check on the kids. Like, that's what remotely, remotely was given Patty LaBelle national anthem. Yeah, never again. It was it was bad. It was really bad. Did you know that, um, y'all, can wait a minute. Can we get 200 beans, y'all, please? I love y'all. Right, can can I get some? I'm, I'm almost to a box, y'all. Oh, why did I get you this? I wanted to announce um to your people. Y'all, we are doing a iPhone 15 um next month for the raffle. So y'all get y'all beans. 1K to enter. I'm going to pick up the iPhone. Probably next week I'm going to pick it up. Um, but it's going to be a luxury, raffle. Luxury nights. Luxury nights, honey bun. Luxury nights. I'm going to have you guys doing another PK. I'm building up my host so they can do bigger PKs next month. Um, luxury nights, love. Luxury nights. We need 200 beans, y'all. Um, oh, you know what I don't like? What I miss? I don't... You know what I don't like? They need to bring back... We don't get to see the opponent's gift. Didn't we used to get to see the opponent's gift? Mm -mm. When we used to PK, we never did? I thought we did. Thank you for... Oh, you can tell I don't PK, girl. So, um... Thank you, boo. So, I will say this. Um... I... Oh, so what... what Rick Rose is doing a show... Um, with, uh, we need, uh, literally a hundred beans, you guys. Rick Rose is doing a show, Stone, with Lady Red, and now he's doing it with Pablo. And Lady Red and Pablo already got into it. But he's doing a show with him, and I find that to be interesting, because Lady Red and Pablo don't too much like each other. So, I'm just wondering, you know, I'm going to be honest with your sister. I know you don't, you know, you're not a fan of Rick Rose at all. But how's Kitchen worked its set when he needed to work its set? Is that a fair statement? 
I'm not. I'm listen. I'm not a fan of the nasty shit she does. But you go give the, the girl flowers. Character, the character, the character she is. Let me tell you what my problem is with Rick Rosa. Rick Rosa doesn't. Rick Rosa doesn't. Rick Rick Rosa doesn't know how. Rick Rosa knows how to get to the bag, but Rosa don't know how to keep the bag. And what what the problem is with Rosa, and the reason why the girls are not having anything successful. Yeah. What would be a successful show is if you had girls that you probably wouldn't get along with sitting up there spilling the tea and spilling the what to the what. Like if me and Rick Rosa did a show together, bitch, it would be a feisty show, bitch, because I would have to let her know, like, bitch, and that would be a good show. The thing about the thing that Rosa needs to understand is, is that it like the Hell's Kitchen was good. But the girls were starting to get too messy. You cannot, you have to be the foundation. Like, you can't have the mess going on. Like, when we was doing um, the shade room. And the reason why things went left and why I pushed out of the shade room, because the reality of it is, whatever's going on with me and Tammy, the shade room should have been a priority. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like, when you are doing a show, the priority has to be the audience. Dumb girls fighting. Listen, Robert, I don't need to like you to make money with you. It's just no shade. I don't have to like you to make a bag with you. I could do a show right now with Rosa. And if it was going to get me to the bag, I'm going to do it. Like if Rosa was like, girl, and I don't like it. I don't like the shit that he's done. Why do you but think, and, see, I, and, and you asked me this, but I want to know why you think. Because if something's not broken, it doesn't need to be fixed. But if these girls were at the top, for what they were doing, why does it not? Because what Hell's Kitchen and Rick Rosa doing that was he can hear it right now do it and it's one. It was fab. It was it was fab. And it had longevity. So why do you think these girls are not? Like why do you think they're flapping and falling off with these things? They well, have the Robert, formula and it's working. Robert, he was Robert, three million. Well, Robert, okay. the reason Robert, the reason why is because. Those girls want to do business, but they also are not keeping it real. They trying to find some friends too. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to be real, Robert. They're trying to find some friends because if my if my if my number one objective is is to make a coin, I don't give a fuck if you don't like me. That's what the problem is, Robert. I don't need to like you for me to make business with. I I don't. If you said if you came to me right now, said Stone, I talked to Rosa. Y'all would be good for a show together. I know how good you are and have a good eye for Bigo. I would say, sister, I'm in it. My only, my only, my only thing that I would say to her is, don't you start reading me nothing that's mad to me, and we gonna be good, bitch. We gonna, we gonna talk. Or so, that, then, so, that's, then, so then, what? So then, so then, would you be? Would, are you saying that a lot of the girls don't last for what they're doing because they are putting their personal feelings in yes, there? Yes. Public, yes. Uh, they're putting their yes. public appearance. And for, but when you're making this type of money, why would you get what I'm saying? Like, why would that even be a? Because but, but when you're making this type of money, Robert, but this is the type of thing. Okay. This is where the girls mess up. And this is what the girls need to learn about you. Because I don't like this about you. But I learned why you like this. Robert is actually one of the most irresponsible, frugal bitches that I know. Robert is like a boy's boy. When I came to his house the first time, the bitch didn't have a shower curtain because he's such a boy bitch. He's like, this is my house. I'm going to have my bare ass out. The water ain't going to fall out. Of and the bitch got money. You get what I'm trying to say? So what it is, Robert, you are making big money, but you're not spending big money. And that's what the girls are doing. They are making big money. They're spending big money, but they're not keeping the big money flowing. That's what it is. And you also have to understand, Robert, which one is more important to you, making the money or your pride. I don't give a fuck what was going on with Lady Red and Rosa. Lady Red and Rosa, Lady Red and Rosa, Lady Red and Rosa should have had reading conversations behind the scenes like me and you do. People will never see us go at it on live. We're going to read each other in the back like, bitch, I didn't like that. What happens is they was tearing each other down, but the people really in the comments was like, no, 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 y'all. No, don't do this. We love Hell's Kitchen. Don't do this. So what it is, Robert, you have to think about the investors and you have to think about the coin. If, if me and you together are making coins and we've built such a reputation of people loving on us, we got to put oh, them oh, first. In the Discord, church girl said...
in the Discord, the church girl said that they miss coming in my room. And I currently have 31 right now that are in my window. Let me just say this to you, church folk. No, let me say it first. If you girls miss coming in here, drop that fucking badge, bitch, and pick. This is what we doing, girl. Y'all girls miss being up in here. Go on and pick those Gods of Olympus badges and drop those badges, I'm bitch. Not, I'm That's not what the we one, do. I'm not, I'm not the one stopping y'all. Oh, I'm in everything, baby. I'm in the Discord as well. I'm not the one stopping y'all from coming in my room. If y'all miss being over in the drop the badge and go get Robert's badge. Cause all that smoking cigarette and eating fried pork chops and sitting up at the wee hours of the night yelling at Carrie and yelling at that ugly mangy dog bitch, that ain't con contenting y'all hoes, bitch. Drop y'all badges. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all miss coming into him, that's because of y'all. Y'all are allowed, y'all are having yourself sit in a situation on a free app where you can't go wherever you want to go and enjoy what you want to enjoy because of pride. And you say it's pride and loyalty. It's not pride and loyalty. It's cult-like behavior. Let me tell you something. Yes. It's not pride and loyalty. Pride and loyalty is not going from room to room and talking shit about somebody whose badge you have with the person whose room you're in. Pride and loyalty is not telling people on a free app that you cannot go to other people's rooms to right. other people. That's, right. That's cult-like behavior. But what, but what, That's but different. what, the church women, you guys the church are the ones who are stopping yourselves from going anywhere. And now you want to go to, hold up. Now you want to go and say you miss people in people's rooms because the person that whose room you would sit in can't give you what they want and you're bored with who's at the top of whatever cult you have going on. It doesn't work that way. You are not allowed to sit up in my room with that badge because of y'all's leader. So if you want to come in here, drop your badge. We're not going to kick you out, but that's y'all. Right, because that's because let me explain something. Not let mine. me explain something to y'all. Let me explain something to y'all. And y'all need to understand this. Y'all put money into our pockets. We don't say what y'all do with y'all money. Y'all say what y'all going to do with y'all money. And that's y'all problem. You don't... First of all, you too grown, and if you're paying your own bills, bitch, you don't need to be missing nobody, bitch. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me explain something to y'all about life, and God knows I know it because Ray's anniversary is on Friday. The only time as an adult, if you know you really love something or love someone that you should have to miss them, is if the Lord done took them to glory. If you miss somebody that's still here on earth ticking and walking around, you could go right over to that person and say, hey, bitch, I miss you. I might have made a mistake, but I'm here to rectify the mistake. There's no reason why y'all grown adults should be letting somebody tell y'all where y'all can go. That's why a lot of y'all be in them janky ass raffles. Because, bitch, you got a bitch that don't like me saying that my raffles is fake, but you Y'all ain't never won not nan thing from that bitch. That's y'all fault. Because I wish a bitch would tell me where to go and what to do with my money, bitch. This is my money, honey. You are not going to tell me where the fuck to go. And let me tell you something. The people that do that, they are not called people you can respect. Those are dictators. Those are dictators. You girls are in dictatorships. They are dictators. No one, why Why should Tommy or P or anybody be threatened by Robert? If your money's that long, you got enough money to spread each way. Why the fuck? You know why? Because they want to strong arm you to make sure that your money only goes to them and them alone. When you are gifting us, you are supposed to be gifting us because you want to. You are supposed to be gifting us because you love us. You're supposed to be gifting us because we make you feel comfortable. How the fuck do you have somebody strong arming you that wouldn't even be able to go get new teeth if it wasn't for for your money, bitch. Y'all, she don't get to tell y'all where to go. If she drops the fucking badge, go make your own badge. Thank you. Yeah, That's one thing, even 20, even 20 didn't even do with that to us. One thing that I loved about being in 20's family, 20 never fucking told us where we could go, where we could sit. Bitch, 20 didn't do that. And 20 even didn't do it to the point where he would let people, people say some slick shit. But me and Robert had to say, bitch, you ain't doing that over here, bitch. That's the type of, that, that, you gotta let people be free. You got to let people be free. You can spend your money on whoever you want. Why would, if Robert is really entertaining you and you love being in Robert's room, why would you miss out on that for a fat bitch? She don't get to control you. And bitch, let me tell you something. If you really want her cashy supporters, if she drop your badge, take your money with your motherfucking drop badge. Uh, bitch, if I'm sending you dragons, bitch, and you drop my badge, I bet you you'll see some dragons flying across a new broadcaster's room, bitch. I wish a bitch would kick me out and I'm giving her my money, bitch. Give me my money, bitch. I'll take it elsewhere.
Y'all better, y'all women better pick y'all titties up off the floor, bitch, and let them hike up to the to the ceiling. That bitch only wants you, the bitch only don't want you over here because she know Robert gonna tell y'all the real and she gonna lose support. That's on y'all. Y'all better wake up and smell the coffee, bitch. You ain't that. That ain't nobody's fault but their own. Because I remember <clears throat> Super who was on here, he used to have those people and they used to be afraid to go to different rooms and go to different places as well. There's a lot of people who will sit up here and dictate y'all's whatever. That's on y'all. That's on y'all. I have nothing to do with that. Because let me tell you something. I'm going to pay attention to the people who are in my room. And a lot of people miss being in my room because they want to type some. They want to join in the conversation. Thank you. To They want to come into the box. They want to comment on things. They want to do all of that. And they know that we're going to have variety and we're going to have a lot of shit to talk about. Like I'm probably going to do call-ins tomorrow and all that shit. And that's the thing. But y'all don't get to have that privilege of sitting up and being in here while still being under dictatorship. Because my people in my life are taught to be free. To go where they want, to gift who they want, to watch who they want, to say what they want. So you don't have that grace. Regardless, no. of, how much you miss, regardless of how much you might miss me. No, that, I don't want, and, and I don't want anyone... Why, let me and, tell you something. I don't like... I don't want any bro, fake bitches... I don't want any fake bitches in front of me. Ever. That... Are afraid. One thing I teach people in my room is you should never be afraid to motherfucking go and gift and do and say what you want. And I would never want people sitting in my room who have to be on hush hush because they're afraid that their master might come through and wax them. Because if that's the case, because that's like when Miss P was up here, Stone. Remember, I, I, out of honor and loyalty and respect to the badge, I do gift to you and I do come support you. When you guys are good, but when you fall out out of respect to the badge that I have, I don't come into the room. No, you don't do that out of respect to the badge when you don't come into the room. You do that because someone tells you that. You're a grown woman with kids, with a job and your own coins, listening to someone who is your motherfucking master leader that's not motherfucking... You, go out, you have a nine-to-five job, ma'am. You're doing that because you are afraid that your badge is going to be dropped. See, let me say this, sister. There's a difference. I would rather have people gift me because they want to gift me and they enjoy me rather than gift me and be in my room out of fear. Two different things. And one goes a long way because a lot of people break through through that fear and get a goddamn sense of reality at some point in time or a realization happens because something happens where they have a fallout. You see, when you have somebody in your room gifting you and showing you love and supporting you because you're entertaining and they feel free and they have the freedom to do and give whatever they want to without having the fear of being kicked, dropped, made fun of, revoked, all that, then you have a lot more people who have longevity compared to someone who might not have it and just disappear because they're afraid of what's going to happen. Well, let me, let me, let me tell you something. That was a good question, TKO TK John here, and I'm going to tell you why. Not gifting out of fear, gifting out of fear means... You won't come gift somebody because you are fearful of what your favorite is going to say. But what I'm telling you is, if if listen, let me be very clear. It ain't about them being your favorite, um, that you being their, them being your favorite. You need to be theirs. See, let me explain something to you, bitch. I drops on me down. I'm not motherfucking telling I where she can go. Now, bitch, that don't drop shit on me, bitch. That's a whole nother story. But, bitch, if you are one of my favorite supporters, if you're one of my favorite people, bitch, you could go wherever you please. And that's what people need to understand. What I'm trying to tell you is, this is a, this is a prime example. If I work for Nike and I want the people to come get Nikes from me, that's like turning away a bitch because she happens to wear Reeboks every now and then. Girl, she can wear Reeboks and Nikes. And that's what, and that's what the problem is. Because the thing about it is, what, what y'all do is, y'all gridlock y'all entertainment. And this is a word, and I would love some gifts because I know I'm speaking facts. Y'all gridlock y'all entertainment. Tommy may come on from 6 to 9, but Robert may be on from 9 to 12. But because she told you y'all can't be in Robert's room, now you ain't got nobody to watch from 9 to 12 because she done gridlocked your motherfucking, and that's your fault. Thank you, Moan. That is your fault. That is your fault. That is your fault. Korean, when I get off alive, Korean might go in Lady B room. Korean may go in Robert room. That is y'all fault. That is y'all fault. And the thing about it is, anybody that's making you feel like that, all they want is your money, honey. All they want is your money, honey. All they want is your money, honey. If Korean say, Stone, I entered um, uh, somebody raffle I don't like. I'm like, all right, girl. 
You know what I'm saying? Money, you can spread the money everywhere. And let me tell you something. Ooh, Robert, you might as well break the bell. If you're going to do all that, bitch, you should be hitting three million. Because it's like that with the Milan. The same thing for the Milan. Same thing for Super. Same thing for a lot of these. Brandon LaCrackhead. And it's like, y'all going up for these people, but they still not hitting tiers and quotas. Y'all really don't have the longevity that y'all trying to act like y'all have. Because if you did, bitch, you would be getting them to where they need to get. My top gifter went over there to the church for Red Fox. They still ain't getting it. They still, yeah. Yeah, she over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Red Fox, they go over there, yeah. yeah. But the reason why I don't give a fuck, and I kicked the bitch out of my room. Because she came into my room one day, and I was like, I don't understand. I don't mind you going wherever you're going to go. But you sitting up there talking shit with them in the comments about me. Because I came into the room one day when I was up on the docket for something. And I said, well, I said, I don't know why the fuck you. This is when me and Tommy was okay, whatever, like that. And I was getting into it with someone. Or I forgot. Or maybe it was someone else's live. Maybe it was Trina's or someone, whatever. And she was popping her gums. And I was like, I don't know why you popping your gums. And she was like, oh, no. I was just saying, you know, Robert, that you have been known to. I said, I have been known to what? Because I didn't do whatever these people is talking about. This is storyline, narrative, and whatever. So why the fuck are you? Well, oh, what well, I'm just saying. So then she came into my room later on because she had been with them, them church folk, after the fallout. She was with them all of I came in the window a few times. And I seen her ass sitting right up in there. I said, oh, okay. So you think you're going to come into my room? Let me just tell you something. There's never a time, a moment, a minute, or a day that I will have a fake bitch sit in front of my face. You see, I don't give a fuck whose room y'all go to. I don't give a fuck whose badge y'all own. But what I do give a fuck about is when you sit up in somebody else's shit and you play about me and then you try to play in my face and I see it and I know it. It's not going to happen with nobody ever. Well, let me, let me, let me say something because I'm going to say this. Red Fox, I don't have no problem with you, but you already know how I am about my girlfriend. You're a long titty motherfucking Neanderthal dumb bitch. Because when nobody was knowing what was going on with you and Robert didn't know if he was okay, bitch, Robert was checking in on your ass behind the scenes when you had all them shit going on with your kids and shit, bitch. So just fucking remember, bitch, Robert was doing shit for you off the app as his top broadcaster. See, that's what happens when you bitches ain't got no girlfriends when you was growing up in school. You get old, bitch, and you want to try to sell somebody that was fucking with you so you could be in the Me Too crowd. Because what it looks like is ain't nothing but a, long, a, a bunch of bad-shaped bitches that's sitting around talking about somebody that ain't never did nothing to them. How are you going to say what Robert was known doing and you was one of his top broadcasters? See, that's what I don't understand what makes... It don't make no sense about... I don't understand this. When it becomes Mad Day, and let's not even say Mad Day. When it's Me Too Day, you got all these stories about how Robert did some same shit that you know you didn't. Though I can't stand a bitch when they're around a bunch of bitches talking about something. And you know you ain't got no reason to sit down at the table, but you're like, mm-hmm, child. They do be giving that. Prove it. You didn't have no problem running Robert up, bitch, when you was over here, girl. You just found a bitch that you could relate to, bitch, and she's over there. And, and I don't know why you think that's a flex, Red Fox. Tommy just looking at you as a coin. Tommy just looking at you as a coin. And you know what probably happened, Robert? And go ahead and break the fucking bell. That is a fat, um, what is that, man? That is a fat, slimer, bad bill, wig wearing bitch. You know what she does, Robert? She gets in people's ears and she talks shit about people behind their back. Because that's now, bitch, that is poaching gifters. She is a poacher, bitch. Because well, then no, I can... Over, I, I think she was over, not even, not even, uh, the Mise next man. I think, um, she was over with Keith. Like, Red Fox, I think, was over there first with them over there. Yes, she was. And then when all that happened, you know, Keith was out of commission, so she went to the next person. But you know what? The same person who does that type of shit is Miss Tiffany. Miss Tiffany does the same thing. She just goes around to other... Uh, she just does the same thing as well. She was sitting over in Coco's, and I saw her stop fucking texting my phone. All she wants to text me to talk about is how much she don't like llama, but she ain't dropped one bean, but shows up when the fuck she wants to show up and do the same shit. Oh. She texts me. Oh. You know she texts me. You know she texts me talking about, I don't know why Stone kicked me out. I didn't do anything to him. I said, girl, why are you texting my phone? And all, all oh. I, yeah, I ain't got no problem with it. I said, girl, get the fuck off my phone. Oh. 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 Tiffany, ain't seen let you, ain't Miss seen you in months, but you want to show Miss up Tiffany, randomly. Miss Tiffany, Girl, let me tell you, 
your long titty honey boo boo skeddy with for lunch ass. The reason why I kicked you out of my room, bitch, is because when you was mad with Llama, bitch, you was all up and through Robert's live saying all this, that, and the third. And then when you and Llama wanted to play make up or play nice, then you wanted to say that I was lying. How can I lie about some shit, bitch, that was told to my girlfriend that was, bitch, I'm not fucking with you, so you will be kicked out. Because the thing about you, bitch, is you girls are flip-flopping assholes. You are flip-flopping assholes, and you bitch don't have no, you bitches don't have no brains. It's ridiculous how people, they're not even controlling you. You want to feel like you amount to something. I don't give a fuck who you are. If you are my biggest gifter, I'm not... First of all, I'm not even going to talk about Lama because I don't give a fuck. So we're going to move on from Miss Tiffany. But anyway, bitch, the reality, of, the reality of it is, Robert, they ain't got no brains and that's on them. We don't give a fuck if you miss Robert. You need to drop your badges when you come up in here, bitch. If you don't drop your badge, you're going to get kicked out the room. Everyone has a change, has a chance to amount to something. Everybody does have a chance to amount to something. But the thing about it is what I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all are our investors. This is what I'm trying to explain to y'all. Y'all are our investors. That's like somebody raising a gold fund and cussing people out that are donating. Where they do that at? Where they do that at? Where do they do that at? Y'all are investing into us. So whatever y'all want to spend on us is ultimately up to y'all. When y'all feel, and listen... The thing about it is, y'all act like y'all are keeping that badge and she's having cookouts for y'all. And all that, she's not doing half of the things Keith was doing. She's not doing half of the shit Keith was doing. She done been in the church for almost a year. She ain't had no quinceanera. She ain't had no cookout, bitch. She ain't had no collard greens and cornbread fest. She ain't did nothing for y'all. Y'all are all money signs to her and you don't amount to shit. And that's yeah, on y'all. No shade with her, not even talking about her anymore. Um, a lot of people do that. Poppy does that yeah. with his people. Milan does Milan. that with his people. Um, uh, La Crackhead does that with his... I mean, Super did that with his people. No tea, no shade, but I don't feel sorry for any of these people because common sense is not so common. And I truly, think a lot of these, I, think, I truly think a lot of these people do that because... They Can we get to this next box? They have the FOMO. They have the FOMO. They're missing out. But what are you missing out on for something that's free? You can't even right. join you the Milan family without, without paying. And then also, and then also, not only what are you missing out on that's free, what are you receiving? A lot of these people, you join the Milan's family, but a lot of y'all, damn near all of y'all, still get less than Milan, and he don't even get right. that much. Y'all join in, and then y'all paying to be. I think I, I truly think a lot of these people Can we pay get to this unbox y'all. People on this app pay for popularity and friends. When you're not, when you're not that and girl, and friends. When you're not that girl, you try to pay for something that doesn't have longevity. You pay for things, and you pay mentally, sometimes physically, emotionally, and financially for things that don't have longevity. You pay for something that you put on the tongue and dissolves, and you you pay for zebra gum. It tastes melanin, good for a few. Things. But melanin, but melanin. You saying you rather be an unknown baby? You are more. You are known more than ever. Let me tell you what it is. You they they still unknown because what you got to understand is, bitch. People don't even know who half of those Milans are. Let me teach y'all something very wise. And Robert taught me this. I hate to say this, bitch. It ain't always about what... See, what Milan's theory is and Tommy and them is it's what the family members can do for them. It's not... That's not how it's supposed to work. It's about what the family could do for you. When I joined Powerhouse, my numbers went up ridiculously. Y'all be trying to be in families, but be trying to be girlfriends and fucking on each other, but then forget about the bag. You be trying to be yeah. in families to be fucked on and to be taking pictures and photo shoots, bitch, but you're not getting to the bag. Milan got all those people in his family and half of the family ain't even making more than 300K. That is not cute. That is not cute at all. That is not cute at all. That is not cute at all. And Powerhouse, Same thing for bitch, the Brock Stars. Same thing for the Brock Stars. Same, same thing, thing for the Brock Stars. Stars. Same thing for Keys to the Street. Same thing for LaCrack. Can, can we get to this box? Can we get to this box? No shade. Same thing for flopping out of control. A lot of these people, and you know, I would never join a lot of these families because, you know, a lot of people, and then y'all complain about wanting to get higher tiers, needing help. Not when you got to send a dragon every month, child. 
He told me, he told me when I was going to join, when I was in limbo, he said, Stone, go ahead and send that dragon. I said, bitch, I wish the fuck I would send a bitch a dragon to be in a... I wish the fuck I would send somebody Wait, did, did a dragon. Did you get your rebates, bro? I think everybody got rebates from the boxes. Yes, I'm uh, real quick, uh, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna have to. Uh, and I'm gonna have to. Well, I can still talk to Robin and go to the store. Um, uh, real quick, y'all. I just wanted to remind everybody. I do have a wonderful raffle this month. The raffle is a six hundred dollar cash raffle. Currently, if you send those lucky player gifts, all entries are doubled. So five hundred is two tickets. One K is four. 5K is 30, and a dragon's worth of those uh, gifts is 60. It is $600. Hey, Petty Bank. Here's a little tip for y'all. Mm -hmm. In case, because I know I got a thousand people here listening. Let me just give y'all a little advice, okay? You should... Um, <laughs> GG, you stupid. You did Lady B? Okay, so I think you... I gave you five, right? You owed me... I have how much? I don't know how much you owe me. I, I gotta check. Um, if you have those new gifts, Lady B... The luxury night and the luxury car, those ones. Um, wait a second. Here's a little tip for y'all. And I'm going to have you do another. I need one dragon. No, that's fine, boo. Um, so, if you guys, here's a little tip for y'all. If you're in a family, mm -hmm. you should only be in a family to elevate you in some way, shape, or form. There's no families out there, specific families that are there for specific things. So there are the families that are chill, panels, talking, all of that. And then you have families like Karma and Dire Wolves and even Bear City, who I can't stand the founder, he's a loser. But some of these families are specifically, they're not going to give you, we're sitting on a panel, we're hanging out with each other, we're in the mess, we're talking. No, baby, they're going to give you, you doing boxes? You don't, how much do you, well, how many do you have, Lady B? Just inbox me on in the back end so I can see, because I know you said you needed to hold one. Um, so y'all need to find what family works for you, to be honest with you. Um, I am going to have you throw on me, Lady B, but just tell me how many so I can see uh, what you got um, right now. Um, and that's the reality. And a lot of y'all gag and goop because y'all join me. Like Poppy. Poppy is sick. Poppy is literally, you know what he's doing, girl? Oh, we gotta talk about this. We'll do one more ten minutes because I know you gotta. Uh, uh no, bitch. I want. Can we? Can we? Can I get to, bitch? This has been a good conversation. Can I get to five to my box? Damn, bitch. Can I get to a box, y'all? Shit, I, girl, I've been holding my bathroom in. I got to go to the well and go get my fresh water. Can we please get to a, a box, por favor? Por favor? Shit. I love y'all, but damn, I know we we know we don't have too many of these girlfriend conversations. Shit. Can I at least get to my... I'll do a 10-minute one, but I'd like to get... I'll do the last one, but shit. We'll do one more. Lady, Lord. Sorry, Lady B. I'm going to need you tomorrow. I have a PK tomorrow. I'll have her hold for tomorrow. I've been holding my bathroom. Shit, can we, can I please, thank you, Hot Cocoa Baby. Yes, y'all, it's 500 diamonds to enter. So what Poppy been doing, bitch? Thank you, booze. You know I'm just auntie cussing y'all out. You know it ain't no, y'all saying what y'all want. Yes, what Poppy been doing, child? Um, what Poppy been doing? Carl, so you know they have this thing now where they have. Hold on, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, before you start. Am I gonna need a? If I am, I is this gonna be one of those moments? Why I need to take a shot? shot? Okay, hold on. So somebody told me, you can you hear me? Thank y'all. Yeah. Thank y'all. Thank you. So somebody told me. So now they brought back. There's regular auditions and then there's live auditions. Okay. So somebody told me that this nigga said that he got sixty three, like sixty three hosts this month. This nigga, they when they took away live auditions. One of the things that people were doing is they were signing up hosts and the host would be in their regular solo dolo live minding their business. And then boom, you became a host because they would find somebody up. So they said, that's what that nigga's been doing. He's been without taking, because you know the nigga. Them knowing, without them knowing? There was already three who came forward that was like, wait, what? I'm a host, huh? Because what happens is if you sit up and you're in your solo and you're relaxing and talking to the people who are coming in, that on a live audition and somebody signs you and fills in the uh, information uh, uh, and stuff uh, uh, like that. I know. Uh, uh, hold on. Let me get, let, pass me, let, let me get the pass the doobie on the, we could drink on camera now. Yes. Pass the doobie on the left hand side. Cause I got to give it in Southern auntie. So you told me, you had told me that the people could send you a little clip in of them and you could send that into Bigo as long as it goes with the guideline and they could become a host by doing that. So you mean to tell me, bitch, 
that this motherfucker been giving people information and he been catching them while they've been hosting, seeing that they ain't no host, just chilling on their live and then sending in the, the, the shit and they've been approving it and he now they, they, they boss. Oh, hell no. Nah. That's some different level shit. That, that, that is a scammer. Now that is a scammer, bitch. But the thing about it is, the thing about it is, so if that is happening with people and people aren't aware of that, and this is, goes for anybody, um, host, if that ever happens, because it used to happen. Somebody said, please no, you share my face and make sure you, <laughs> it didn't happen to me. No, you um, don't they have to show ID to be a host? Well, there's the no. thing, you could do the live audition. No, the live audition is normally you just sitting there talking for a certain amount of time. The video audition is you send it in and you say, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to go for whatever, blah, 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 X, Y, and Z. So it's different. But there was a time when people were doing the live audition stone that some people would do this to people. Unbeknownst. The thing, I did not audition, but the thing about it is if that does happen and you tell Beagle, they will let you go. And if you have too many violations with that or you're doing that with people, they will clip your agency. So it's going to go against him or anybody if that's actually what he is doing. If there are people who come up and they say, I did not agree to all of this and I did not want to. And, and he and they're able to prove that. Oh, baby, you can get a lot of trouble because that's like poaching. And then I also want, you poaching because I want to know the worst. I want to know the worst part about it is, too. Can I please get some gifts, y'all? Can we please get to my neck to my box, y'all? You know what the worst part about it is, too, bitch. Imagine, imagine you just doing that and you're not a host yet. You're trying to figure out what agency you're going to go in, right? But you're making good beans during that time. You wouldn't even know you was getting paid either. Well, you, well, you know the thing, not only that, sister, you know a lot of the people who are in his family, they came up and they told me, they were like, I didn't even know what this family was or this app. As soon as these people log on and they're new, this nigga is sending an invite to people's inboxes. And that's how a lot of these people end up in the family because they're new, so they don't know. So it's like they just think it's one of the things. So if you send an invite to join your family and somebody's new and they click approve, then boom, they have your badge. So a lot of the people will be like, well, I didn't even know. I just joined. I think Bigo, when they let his ass go, they're going to let the agency go, the family go. They're going to just do a whole a whole Rico thing on him. Well, you can, Lady B. Come on over, baby. Well, you know, I know they topped him on the shoulder with that whole thing that happened. You know, I ain't got no problem with Poppy, but we all knew he lied when he was up here talking about